So I just got done playing about an hour and a half playing around with uh, 03 Mini High, which is for coding. And I built a small little plugin with it where I could count the numbers of ones and twos in chat and then display it on a web page and have it shoot down web sockets. At first, it started with like a polling technique and then switched over. It missed out on some kind of like ideas and basic like fundamental usability when it came to this voting mechanism where like one person could vote a whole bunch of times. And you kind of had to steer it to get it into the correct location. Of course, we used both Go and we used uh, some nice delicious inline HTML. Look at that JavaScript, just stringified JavaScript. Mwah, my favorite, most maintainable goodness right here and then of course also it did a bunch of little global variables all this kind of stuff so with all of this and being able to see kind of how this all works and seeing o3 be able to produce you know it produced some code i would not call this good code but it produced code right which is pretty impressive that it was able to do all of this i must say that the hype, the excitement, that everything that's going around, uh, you know, I think maybe you might want to curb it in just a little bit. I don't know if you're going to really see this amazing increase in productivity or anything. Yeah, it's a bit faster. Uh, my 01 experience versus my little, or my 01 mini versus my 03 mini experience, I definitely found 03 mini to be a, like a good three times faster. A lot of the responses were coming back in like five to 10 seconds. Often I was always getting like 30 seconds with 01 mini. So I did, I did enjoy that. I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I have not used it in cursor. So, you know, there is that, but at the end of the day, you know, just using this walking around with it, there's some things that I think people are fundamentally missing when it comes to using AI and all this, I know how to program. So I know how to say, okay, we need to build a server with go. Okay, yep, now that we did this, let's make sure that we can create these sockets and be able to increment these things when these votes come in. Okay, let's make sure, you know, I can say all these words in which I know because I know how to program really well. Like, I just don't think my wife could have got to where I got in even remotely the same amount of time. I think she would have been very confused by the output. She would have had to really kind of focus through and sift through. And so like the zero experienced person would just be hopelessly lost in this. And so it still goes to show that just programming knowledge plays such a huge role in all this stuff. And I know everyone, there's gonna be so much like copium, copium, it's gonna take your job to six months until it takes your job. Again, I would strongly urge you to curb your expectations, I think we will actively see on Twitter a very large discourse where it says Claude 3.5, which by the way has been out for a while, versus 03 in programming with things like cursor or just prompting in general or other tools will still be people. Some people say one's better and some people will say the other one's better, which leads me to believe there's not really any sort of huge jump going on here. Yeah, I'm sure there's like a lot of these charts and reasonings and, and competition things and math PhD levels that one's just way outperforming the other one. But when it just comes to practical boots on the ground programming, it does not appear that uh, that I think there's any real like great jump here. When I was using Claude, this this feels pretty much the same thing. Like I don't feel like there's any new iterations here. Now, granted, the thing I built was only 300 lines long. It's just not big, right? There's nothing about that that is even remotely able to say how amazing it is as you scale the 10,000, 20,000 lines. And when I say that, what I mean by that is that some features are like 10 to 20,000 lines in of themselves, obviously in a larger ecosystem, but this is, it's kind of like isolated. How well can a model move through those kind of like little feature islands throughout code? As of right now, again, I would just strongly recommend that you just take a bit of time and you don't, uh, you don't, you just don't think the world's over. Uh, what I, I, I strongly am still in the camp after using it right now that there has been no fundamental shift in your need to understand the basics of programming, your desire to become a great program, to learn how to build large extensible software, because let's just face it, these programs, they don't build extensible software. The whole goal is to be able to try to just build fast software. And those sometimes are at kind of big odds with each other. You know, often for me personally, I have to build something. And then when I see where all the stress points are, I have to then think about how to refactor it, how to build it into something to be able to take it to the next level. With the code that I saw produced and the, techni the techniques that were applied, if you did not have that experience, you wouldn't know 
what you're putting into your code base is pretty dang dangerous. You wouldn't realize that what you're doing is going to be very costly down the road. And so there is a lot of value that still exists in experience. In fact, I would argue that if anything, experience has just got more valuable. As far as I can tell, any faster producing code, better all these, you know, whatever these, however you want to describe these models, every single time, it seems like all it does is make experience more and more valuable because you now need to control a slightly more powerful horse, if you will, and you need to make sure it goes the right direction. And so if it's producing more code, you need to be able to have a faster thinking mind of how this code's gonna impact the entire system. Anyways, that's my thoughts. O3, it was fun, it was great. This did not feel like a fundamental shift of any kind. So buckle up for the hype train, cause it's coming. Everyone's gonna tell you you're about to lose your job. I guarantee it, AGI. It's at home. Oh, by the way, I also heard that R1 is uh, is much, much better to use. Even their 32B model is feeling much, much better than O1. And so I will be setting up my R1 setup. I have a friend going to help me build out the rest of my computer, have everything. I should have three 3090s. I also got access to be able to SSH into a tiny... Uh, a uh, tiny grad green and a tiny grad red. And I also have an invitation out to a place in Florida with a bunch of GPUs. So hopefully we'll be able to test out some, uh, you know, stuff that's a little bit more extensive and kind of see how it feels if we were able to take it to the next level. All right. Hey, the name is the Primogen.